so I'll just offer my bowling today. <laughs> How's it everyone? Over the last couple of years there have been whispers of a content creator cricket match with many of you asking for one to be organised. So when my club asked me to organise a Can You Cricket 11 to play the Dubai Wanderers, I could not pass up the opportunity. So on the 17th of July 2023 I managed to rally the troops and organise the first of hopefully many content creator cricket matches. The match was played at my home club Whittle Spa and I could not have asked for a better lineup. Dan from Our Crickets, Oscar Hood, The Cricket Kid, Club Cricket Badger, Boom Boom Cricket, TJR Cricket, My Cricket Gear and Cricket Umpire 86 were all present and rearing to go. But the problem with cricket content creators is that we primarily focus on batting so I needed to rope in some bowling options. Enter Matt from Market Deeping, Freddie a youngster from Whittle Spa and Ben one of the Can You Cricket patrons. With the weather looking like we'd get a full day's cricket and with my number one supporters watching from the side it was time to get the match underway. After some healthy negotiations we agreed that the Can You Cricket 11 would bat first with Oscar and Ben opening the innings. So with more cameras than players ready to capture this historic match, let's get the match underway. It was a real pleasure having a Can You Cricket patron, Ben, joining the team for the day. On that note, as always, a big thank you to the Can You Cricket patrons for your continued support. We are now up to 59 of you and it would be great to get to a century before the end of the season. If you'd like to become a patron and support the channel further, follow the link in the description or the card above. Unfortunately, we lost Oscar early, which brought Rohan, the club cricket badger, into bat. He and Ben proceeded to steady the ship, putting on a good partnership with both players playing some lovely shots. We agreed that our team would retire at 30 to make sure that everyone got a bat and Ben got to this milestone after which Dan from our crickets came into bat. Unfortunately Dan didn't last long leaving JT the cricket umpire 86 with little option but to give him out LBW. Enter Tom from Boom Boom Cricket. This guy can hit a really long ball so hopefully we can see a few big shots from him. But unfortunately before this could happen Ryan's innings came to an end which meant that it was my turn to have a go in the middle. Well done Ryan. Good job boy. Yes Tom. <laughs> Two to come. Is that middle please? I think we're all right. Look, you see that? Blue sky. Yeah. I yeah. did say that. Exactly. Show us about two and then up to yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes, no. yes. Catch it. Yep. Yeah. Only time a wood it's not gone for four. <laughs> exactly. It was last year this time. Pavement. Was he swinging it into you? No, I was sort of just straight on that. No, yeah. To be fair, this is the first time we've won for any game at Woodall. Probably. Oh yeah? Well, you know, so. There we go, JT. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> when it rains, you've got to get Teddy into bowl. Oh, okay, just to make sure. Oh, cheers, mate. We're in a different country to when we went off. <laughs> Suddenly, beautiful flipping batting conditions. Had enough triggering for one day, eh? <laughs> Poor Dan, eh? Driven all this way and he gets triggered. Hey, if you wa I watched the police back, I never nah, triggered him. Nah, I think correct decision. Correct decision. I will say, I did. Try and not give him up. Yeah, yeah, you just tried <laughs> it. Not. Yeah, yeah. Good to be outing with my mate Tom from Boom Boom Cricket. Ah. Wait, yeah, yeah. I think he was just straight up and down. Okay. Quite full. Come on, Tom. Yes, push. Can you? No! 
probably around there, but rather yeah, nice if we... Uh... It's my course, but cool, I just didn't shout. Yeah, <laughs> keep going, eh? Yeah. Longer we in, easier it gets. Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> Making me look silly, man. We should sort channels. Uh, it's a pink ball, it just flies, eh? Wait, yes! Come on! Oh, yeah. Shot boy. This guy is one quite good to me. It's nice land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still loads of time as well. Exactly. I think we don't need to rush. No, we don't. Things. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, this is bad. Yeah. Six, mate. Oh. Up the screws, JT. <laughs> yeah, I'd for the B3. Yeah, there we go. What's the discount code? Run. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh, what oh, run it? <laughs> Blind man. <laughs> I was not controlled though. Oh man, that's one of my biggest sixes to be honest. <laughs> oh. South African's code, I reckon. Yeah. Got lucky there. Yeah, no. what a flipping dolly, isn't it? Like. All right, keep going, man. Yeah. Ah. Wait. Yep. Come on. Yes. Yes! Yes! Pretty good. Four or five somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly what we need to do, just keep yeah. ticking along. Yeah, exactly. Keep going. Yeah, man. Oh, it's wait, wait. Oh, Nailed it straight in my toe. Oh, gotcha. oh, oh he's jumped it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I thought that was down his flipping throat. No. Nice man. That ball will come where you can just free up and yeah, hit. So just, short, just, just be patient and yeah. then you can give it a whack. Exactly. Boom boom. <laughs> Shot boy. Have it up to the day. Yeah. Boom boom. Yeah. Yes. Can you push it? No, no, stay there. Yes. Yay! <laughs> bold. Bit full for that, eh? <laughs> Classic. Come on, Jackson. You have plenty of time, eh? So yeah. you, you just bat. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. A short and sweet innings from me meant that Jackson, the cricket kid, was in to bat. Now this kid who's only 12 is a proper talent and don't be surprised if we see him in the county setup in a few years time. Boom Boom Cricket does what he does and played some big shots before holing out, bringing in Tom from TJR Cricket. Let's go.
Bro, get that kid off the pitch. So I've seen some big sixes at Whittle, but some of Tom's sixes were up there with the biggest I've seen. Needless to say, with three in a row, Tom got to the retirement score of 30 in no time. Boom! <laughs> Top shot for you. Well done. Tom, do you want to tell us about particularly the six that went over that tree well, over yeah, there? Yeah, it was pretty big. <laughs> That's one of the biggest sixes I've seen on this ground. <laughs> to be fair, flipping yeah, tough innings, boy. Oh, cheers, bad, man. man. Cheers, man. Oh. You gotta follow that up, eh? Uh, yeah. I wanna yeah, see yeah. the same, same old big sixes like Tom. Well, with these arms, I don't know where I, I, don't know where I can hit them as big as those. That was some impressive hitting, to be fair. No, yeah. This brought in Kevin from my cricket gear to the crease. Unfortunately, Jackson missed a straight one, which meant the bowling crew were now in, and hopefully they could get our score over the 200 mark. Well done, Jackson. Proper player, hey? Proper player. Well done, boy. Ben, the opener that retired, came back in and I'm not quite sure how, but managed to drop his bat onto the stumps. A really weird dismissal and one I haven't seen very often. What's going on there, Ben? You lost grip of it. <laughs> Ever been out like it. that? <laughs> no, first <laughs> off. <laughs> so with one wicket left, it was up to Tom and Kevin to finish off the innings. Tom hit one more six for good measure before being bowled in the final over, meaning that we set a competitive 215 for the Dubai oh, yeah. Wanderers to chase. Beaten for lack of pace, I reckon. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. But before the change of innings, Anne and Claire had put on a proper spread of tea for the teams to enjoy. Well, firstly, um, for the Dubai team, I thought it was great to be hosting you again. Looking forward to the week of cricket. And then to my fellow content creators, what a pleasure to meet you all. Man, it's been a really great day so far. Looking forward to getting in the field and having some good fans out there. We're also celebrating something else today. Um, Dan's birthday today. After a brilliant tea and the obligatory team photo, it was time for our bowling innings to get underway. As team captain for the day, I had this chance to leave my mark on the game, and obviously the only way of doing this was to have nine slips at the start of the innings. Had to be done. After a few tight overs, Freddie managed to strike first, trapping their opener LBW. Next up, Matt managed to find the edge with Rohan taking a really sharp catch behind the stumps. This brought Danny to the crease and from the first ball you could see that this guy was a proper player. The partnership between the two left-handers, Danny and Jack, was just getting to the stage where we were starting to get worried when Tom managed to find Jack's edge and get us back in the game. Unfortunately for Ben, when he came on to bowl, he felt something in his knee, so I had to finish off his over. Let's see if I can get through this over without too much damage. I'll definitely take that and with Tom managing to get another wicket we were on top at 69 for 4.
after Kevin took another important wicket, it was time for Oscar to have a turn with some leggies. As a former part-time leggy, I know how hard it is to be accurate and sometimes you can have one of those days where the ball just doesn't come out right. Unfortunately, Oscar had one of those days and when you have a quality big hitting batsman at the other end, the odds were not in his favour. Thirty-one off the over, not ideal, unlucky Oscar, but room for improvement. So after Boom Boom, Cricket got whacked in the knee and bravely carried on bowling. Dan was up next in the firing line to redeem himself after his batting display. After a few looseners, he did just that, keeping things tight and picking up another crucial wicket. Six down. Unfortunately, at this stage, my side camera stopped recording. This was so disappointing because it meant that we missed some really good moments. Firstly, Oscar bowling really well in his second spell. The cricket kid behind the stumps. Myself bowling another over, which only went for three runs, a record in my book. And Danny scoring a brilliant ton, which ultimately meant that the Dubai Wanderers won the match by four wickets. Yeah. Tough day. Feeling tired, but a, but a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed my nine slips. A uh, pleasure to, to meet all you like. I'm in awe of the cricket kit there. I watch watching videos all the time. Uh, and so you're a star, I think, Jackson. So a uh, pleasure to, to meet you. So we're going to start off with Gavin uh, as per a tour. Look, accept this memento for your office and your channel. Out of the match for the opposition, who also seemed very, very, very privileged Desert Vipers fan <laughs> jersey. So please put that on your content. In, in the nudge, I think it's Tom Robinson, was it? Yeah, with Ryan. Club Cricket Badger. What a pleasure playing with you today. Hi, man. Man. It's been, fun. It's been fantastic. Enjoy. Obviously, best best day of my life, meeting up all the content creators, and I can't wait to do many more in the future. But it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure. Beautiful crowd, beautiful hospitality, a great opposition as well, and I can't wait to do it all again. And the best thing is, I get one of these as well. People can get these somewhere. Uh, you get them at clubcricketbadger.com and use code CYC. A couple catches, eh? A couple catches, a couple, couple catches, couple catches yeah. Brilliant bowling as well from uh, from Freddie and uh, from, nah. from from Maddie as well. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. exhibition in pace bowling, and yeah. it was good to uh, play a few behind the wickets. Uh, I said, just can't wait to do it again. Yeah, be brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Great to meet you, Ryan. Awesome, man. What a pleasure we've been having you as umpire, oh, JT. Decisions today. Our favourite one has to be Dan. Second ball, LBW. Second ball. <laughs> no, no, not that quick. Yeah, you took your time took to be time. fair. Uh, no, gave you my time. no, he didn't. No. <laughs> didn't. I definitely didn't. Pleasure to umpire it. Um, good game. Good Lucky game. JT, always a nice pleasure. One. Such a pleasure playing with these guys. Obviously, we all watch each other's content to a greater or lesser degree but it, to put uh, faces to the yeah. and uh, actually meet everyone it's been an absolute pleasure boom boom cricket, boom, boom, cricket. a one boom for six yeah. <laughs> only yeah. the one today but did you do some bowling there man? well yeah i mean i had to turn my arm over i used to so i mean needs to fill in whatever so uh, absolutely <laughs> tjr cricket guys obviously you saw those massive sixes which one do you Ball. prefer I think that tree or that tree? <laughs> <laughs> I think the first one, which was the check. The check in over over the big trees, clear and far, far away. Oscar. Well, obviously a few massive sixes for me as well, just off my bowling today. <laughs> uh, so you know, but game's a game, just a cheeky five for myself. Your second spell. Redeem for a little there. bit. Um, Jason, man. Hard to redeem thirty off and over. No, <laughs> I, I gave it my best go. Yeah, but yeah. it's been a great day. Just so glad to be here. See yeah, you guys awesome. in the flesh. Been amazing. Dan? Yes, mate. You want to describe the, the batting well, I might need some advice from this man on how to get a two ball up to eight minutes, but <laughs> yeah. bowling, bowling went really well. Yeah? Yeah, I was quite pleased with that. Four or five over? Uh, four, he took me off. Uh, yeah, I, I think we might have won the game. <laughs> 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 it feels like I've wanted to play at this ground for ages as well. So, yeah. honestly, thank you for inviting us and thank you for organising as well. It's been a privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Well done.
So that brings us to the end of a fantastic first content creators cricket match and hopefully this is the first of many to come. I've put all the links to the various channels in the description so if you want to see their take of the day please have a look at their content. We have already organized some more collabs in the near future so keep an eye out for that. And finally after finishing with a brilliant curry at India Village I'd like to leave you with the words of Dan Carr who summed up the day perfectly. What a fabulous day, what a fabulous evening, safe journey all.